baby, yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I just said that. <laughs> What's going on everyone? Alright, so I'm gonna make this video basically for the ultra wide gamers out there because there's not that many of us and honestly there's not that many videos out there in regards to what you need to stream at when it comes to streaming at ultra wide or even recording yet alone. Um, and that's why I'm making this video because when I was trying to research it there wasn't much shit going on when it came to 1440p ultra wide and the best output resolution to where the black bars are very reduced and everything like that there was nothing out there so i figured out this way on how to get it to work properly and make it look good on streaming because i have yet to actually have anyone complain about how it looked um it wasn't stretched out or anything like that and i've actually had people coming in the stream was like yo this looks like a movie and never anything negative about how it looked at, at all so uh, we'll, we'll get right into it. It's gonna be a short video just to show you um, and it's just you have to play the numbers game um, A lot especially maybe if you're ultra wide I don't even think it's a 4k, but ultra wide 1080p um, I would apply the same thing as well too. just to make sure you have it multiples of the same exact uh, Resolution, but we'll get we'll get into that right now actually uh, just so you can see for yourself Started off this is my I like using Streamlabs uh, elements because you can do so much stuff. You can add media requests on the side here. You can pretty much edit this whole thing. So I would suggest using that to start off. Not slobs. It's has too much processing in the background. Stream elements allows you to add um, the overlays onto the website. The only thing you need to do is add the link to the the browser link to the actual uh, browser source. So it's less demanding on your computer. But that's not why we're here so let's get into what settings i have because it was so annoying to try to figure this out on my own so don't mind this my output this is what i use to record and everything this i stream off using my cpu because i got a ryzen 7 uh 3700x 30, one or two 3700 3700x i forgot um and these are the settings that i use to make sure it looks good because my cpu can handle it and I went to Epos Fox's video um, on the best settings, so this is what I use. But stream settings, video, what you need. Keep your base resolution on what you're streaming at, what you're playing the video game at. 1440p, ultra wide, that's what I have above. Aspect ratio, keep that what it is. Do not try to make that ultra wide 1080p and then have the output scale to the same thing because it's not going to look that good. Um, keep it at your base resolution because as you put the output, it basically puts those pixels together and makes it better looking when it comes to quality wise. Um, and I was uh, quite impressed actually uh, when I found that out myself. Um, well, not really myself, but people like Epos Vox and stuff and how to like do things correctly and everything. So the reason why I'm choosing 720p because a lot of the times uh, major streamers and stuff they get the higher quality um, 1080p. So that's why I don't do 1080p. I just keep 720p, and it looks excellent. I have yet, like I said, to have anyone complain about it. So that's why I have the ultra wide 720p settings here. Um, it's 1680 by 720 and multiply seven to six you get technically you get 42 so it's just up by one big whoop um and then if you multiply three times uh six times three you get 18. so it fits perfectly when it comes to the ultra wide uh aspect ratio and everything like that um so it's it's basically just scaled down to 720p but still keeping maintaining that 1440p that's coming out originally so it's not as much work on your gpu and it looks excellent i tried putting 1440p my base and then having the output as the same thing obviously it doesn't work because twitch doesn't allow you to do 1440p so don't even try that at all i've tried 
1440p and then putting it on my aspect ratio on 1080p ultra wide i didn't even bother because like i said the partners they get the good stuff and we are left the affiliates left for like not much at all um so i just went with this and it seemed like it worked better and then once you finally get what it looks like it worked good on my cell phone um most phones some of the phones because my uh, actual uh, note goes ultra wide um even phones that don't go ultra wide and go 720p it worked out excellent um no one complain complains about it at all it doesn't look stretched or anything like that it it just looks good i don't know it i it made it work um so that's what you want to go with um just keep it like that um and yeah to so make sure you test out everything stretch out your overlays like your webcam and everything like that make sure it's good certain games do not have ultra wide support valorant um and it sucks but if anything you can put do like a a stream test is to see where you need to put like some pictures or something on the side just so it's not just black um just so you can get people not staring at the black and then complaining about the blackness is on the, the edges and everything like that um but like a maybe an active overlay or something like something cool to where it's not a distract not fully a distraction just seeing black and boring and being um pretty plain um so there's no there you go there's my secret to my ultra wide streams um all the games that i play like tarkov um pso2 final fantasy 14 all of the modern warfare um all those games support ultra wide it's just a very few that for some reason they're next gen but not next gen because they're stupid um this is the best way of doing it give it a try it works let me know i just said that i think um yeah i'm here to help out i figured this out on my my own and i've been streaming with it ever since i've Got my ultra wide, so definitely, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say, but uh, check out my Twitch, Kel Show, follow me on Twitter as well, too. Um, most of the time, when I do, when I am on Twitch, I almost mix Twitch and Twitter. Um, when I am on there, just I'm on during the evenings, during the week, probably around like 8 Eastern Standard Time, um, or later. Definitely stop by the stream, say what's up, and Follow me on Twitter, and I'll definitely help you out, and definitely network or something together. And don't forget to check out the podcast, uh, the podcast I'm a part of, Body Snatchers Media as well too. Um, doing great things and got a good crew. I mean, we'll be doing live podcast reviews as well too, and everything too. So it's gonna be quite interesting. Their their channel links will be down below, including uh, the podcast uh, Twitch as well. But other than that, test it out and let me know. Y'all have a good one.